All right, guys, one of the questions in homework section 1-1 is a clock math problem. It asks you to find the measure of the smaller angle formed by the clock hands at the given time. Now, there's a couple of things going on in this problem that you have to consider in order to be able to answer it correctly. First of all, if I make one full rotation around the clock face, that's 360 degrees, just like a full rotation anywhere. Except for the clock, I have divided that rotation into an equal 12 increments. If I wanted to draw these central angles, the angle between the 12 and the 1 is 1 12th of the rotation. The angle between the 1 and the 2 is a 12th of a rotation, etc., etc. So if I consider my 360 degree rotation divided into 12 equal central angles, I see that I have a 30 degree angle for each of those, um, each time the hand moves a full uh, five minute representation on the clock. So if it moves from 12 to 1, it has rotated 30 degrees. If it moves from 1 to 2, it has rotated 30 degrees because that's the size of that central angle for each of those units. Okay, um, let's take a time for example, let's say it wants to know the smaller angle formed by the clock hands at 115. <clears throat> All right, my, at 115, my minute hand is pointing at the three. The minute hand is the longer of the two hands and it's pointing directly at the three. The hour hand, however, is not pointing directly at one. It's already moved past the one for 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes is 15 out of 60 minutes in an hour. So that's a fourth of an hour. So my hour hand has moved a fourth of the way from one to two. So we're gonna, we're gonna kinda guesstimate, that would be a half, so a fourth is gonna be about right there. So there's my hour hand. It's moved a fourth of the way past the one toward the two. All right, when I start figuring out the measure of this angle, what I wanna know is how many degrees are included in this entire central angle between the two hands. I know that for the angle between two and three, that is 30 degrees because that is a full 12th of my rotation around the clock face. So that's 30 degrees right there. And then this piece of an angle between one and two is going to be less than 30 degrees. In fact, we've moved a fourth of the way from one toward two, which means we're interested in the three fourths that's left. So I've moved a fourth of the way past one. So this remaining angle is three fourths of 30 degrees. which puts me at, um, let's see, let's see, uh, I'm sorry, 45, if I reduce by two, I have 45 halves, um, which is 45 divided by two is gonna be two, two, 22 and a half degrees. So this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 22 and a half degrees. So I have a total angle, this angle that I'm interested in between the hands is 52 and a half degrees. If I need to write that in degrees and minutes instead of decimal degrees, it's 52 degrees, 30 minutes, because 30 minutes is half of a degree.